Pitbull's going crazy here. Look at <laughs> He's excited. He wants us to get started. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Talking Comics. This is Bobby. And this is Cynthia. And this week we've reviewed Forever Evil. Forever. Evil. Things are getting really bad in the DC universe. Things are really, really bad. If you missed uh, September, September was Villains Month all throughout the DC Universe and the bad guys took over mm -hmm. and it was just a bad time for everybody involved and it all kind of started here. So the event's already about three months in but it's still a perfect time to get, get into it and see all the craziness that's going on. This issue was awesome. Like, um, it starts off with Lex Luthor and he's trying to bribe somebody to get their business. You know, it's typical yeah. typical Lex Luthor stuff. He's doing, uh, doing the bad guy thing but it, it's, it's hard to hate him. The way that Jeff Johns writes him, exactly. he writes him in such a, I don't know, cruel, cunning, evil way, but I still like him a lot. He reminds me so much of Walter White from Breaking Bad. <laughs> like, when I was watching Breaking Bad, that's who I thought of, like, most of the time, when I saw, like, his really mean, manipulative parts. Yeah, or really any anti-hero on television, Tony mm -hmm. Soprano. Exactly. This guy is very clearly bad, but he's awesome. And it starts out pretty normal, then it quickly takes a turn down even worse lane. Like this whole issue is just like, you don't read it if you're if you're already having a bad day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, especially if you're a Nightwing fan. Yes, things go even worse for Nightwing because what, what's happened is the Justice League are supposedly dead. Yeah, there's this um, kind of an alternate universe type uh, like the Justice League that shows up. Mm -hmm. Different Earths in the DC universe, the, the multiverse, multiverse, so they come from another Earth. Earth, and they're like the Justice League, but they're evil, so instead of it being evil. Superman... They all have mustaches. This isn't... This is Star Trek. This isn't yeah. Star Trek. <laughs> okay. And it's goatees. Alright, get your facts. Oh, it's goatees. That's it's goatees. What it is. That's what oh, it is. No, instead of having goatees, <laughs> they have different symbols. Instead of being an S, it's a U for Ultraman. It's very obvious that he is not Superman, and then there's Superwoman, Power Ring, they're like evil versions of the Justice League, and they come over, and they take over the planet in like 10 minutes. Yeah. Which is really sad. Like, I know that they're evil, and we shouldn't like them, but I kind of really like Johnny Quick. He's like the, <laughs> he's like the evil Flash, and he says it's cray cray time in the comic. <laughs> We're not gonna tell you what the context is. You yes. have to read it and figure it out for exactly. yourself. But Johnny Quick, hyperactive, speedster, evil speedster, yes. at one point says it's cray cray time. Announcing that it's time for the cray cray to begin. <laughs> cray. And where is the justice thing? Exactly. That's we don't the know question going through everybody's like, mind. Yeah, they have um, like Wonder Woman's lasso. And, uh, Superman's cape. Yeah, and like one of the villains is like trying to eat his cape. It's really weird. <laughs> yeah, they have Aquaman's trident and Black Manta's just like, how do you have this? And they're exactly. like, don't worry about it. The Justice League is dead. You can join up with us right now. Exactly. So, and the artwork is great. Um, David Finch is always known for his big bombastic spectacles. I mean, the guy puts so much detail into literally everything that he does. Yeah. It's uh, it's pretty sweet. He does a, he does a pretty smash up job uh, drawing all the villains. So. And it was another big thing. I gotta oh God, there's so many things that happen in this. It's like, a big issue. It's kind of yeah. hard to talk about. I mean, for I mean, we're already three months in, so I mean, this is only the first issue alone. I mean, three issues in, like the crime syndicate. I mean, they're still running unopposed. Nobody's around. It looks like Lex Luthor might have to be the hero. He realizes that okay, we need some. Too much evil. <laughs> there's too much evil. Mm -hmm. A little bit of evil is okay. in Lex Luthor's eyes. <laughs> Just a little bit. Like uh, my eyebrows right now, they're kind of like Sinestro evil. If you look at the cover and you yeah. look at Sinestro. <laughs> it's like my eyebrows right now. You can just go, David Finch <laughs> must have looked at Cynthia and been Exactly, like, as a reference. I want those You're eyebrows welcome. on Sinestro right now. <laughs> All right, well, that's Sinestro. what we have for this edition of Talking Comics. Um, you could follow Heroes and Millions at, on our Facebook, Heroes and Millions Tucson. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> also hit us up on Twitter at HNB Comics, um, where we post random things as well. Exactly, and don't be evil, guys. Really don't, forever. And we'll see you. Bye. Bye.